Welcome to Spaceverse, your portal to cosmic adventures. The greatest tale of triumph in space exploration doesn't belong to the James Webb Space Telescope. It's all about the Voyager probes. For an incredible 47 years, these twin pioneers have been journeying through the vast cosmos, unveiling astonishing new discoveries about the mysterious worlds that lie beyond our understanding. As humanity's farthest explorers, Voyager 1 and 2 have even crossed into interstellar space, revealing that the outer regions of our solar system are far stranger than we ever imagined. But what accounts for the peculiar differences these probes have observed at the edge of our cosmic neighborhood? And what about those colossal, enigmatic, wrinkled structures hiding in the heliosphere? Reflecting on 1977 feels like stepping into a time capsule from another planet. It was the year Jimmy Carter took office as President of the United States, the last execution by guillotine occurred in France, and the beloved film Rocky swept three Oscars. Yet, one monumental event from that year continues to echo through time, the launch of NASA's Voyager 1 and 2, two probes that would change our understanding of the universe forever. The first probe to embark on a journey beyond our planet was Voyager 2, which launched into the vastness of space on August 20, 1977. Its mission was to explore the largely uncharted regions of our outer planetary system, paving the way for groundbreaking discoveries that would reshape our understanding of the cosmos. Just 16 days later, Voyager 1 followed suit, taking a different trajectory into the unknown. At that pivotal moment in history, no one could have foreseen that this would mark the beginning of what would become the longest-running mission in the annals of modern space exploration. When the Voyager program was first envisioned, the goals were ambitious but grounded in a clear and immediate purpose, to deepen our understanding of the outer planets in our solar system. At that time, the outer planets Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune were relatively mysterious. Very little was known about their atmospheres, magnetic fields, and moons. Scientists aimed to gather new information that could help unravel these enigmas, and the initial plans for the Voyager probes reflected that focus. The engineers and scientists behind the Voyager mission certainly had grand ideas about what they could accomplish. But there was no expectation that these spacecraft would venture out to the astonishing distances of 24.63 billion kilometers and 20.59 billion kilometers from the Sun, respectively. In fact, many considered reaching even the nearest planets to be a monumental achievement. The probes were designed with the primary objective of collecting fresh insights and data that would enhance our knowledge of the gas giants and their intricate systems of moons and rings. However, the voyage was not without its challenges. From the very beginning, Voyager 2 faced communication issues that threatened to impede its mission. These technical difficulties arose as the probe ventured into the depths of space, creating a sense of uncertainty about its operational capabilities. Fortunately, the dedicated team of engineers and scientists at NASA quickly intervened to troubleshoot the problems. Their expertise and swift action enabled them to resolve the complications, ultimately clearing the way for what would become a record-setting mission filled with unprecedented discoveries. As we now stand on the brink of exploring unknown worlds, we are fortunate to have access to extraordinary tools like the James Webb Space Telescope. This incredible instrument offers us breathtaking views of our planetary system, revealing details of celestial bodies that were previously beyond our reach. The clarity and depth of information it provides are unparalleled, transforming our perception of the universe. However, it's essential to remember that nearly 50 years ago, our understanding of the cosmos was limited and fragmented. When Voyager 1 and 2 launched into space, humanity's knowledge of distant planetary realms was remarkably scant. The initial focus of their research was on the majestic systems of Jupiter and Saturn. As the probes traversed the outer solar system, they provided Earth-based scientists with a wealth of extensive measurements and stunning images that forever altered our comprehension of these giant planets. This influx of data marked a transformative leap in our understanding of the colossal gas giants. The Voyager probes captured breathtaking images of Jupiter's swirling storms, intricate atmospheric patterns, and massive moons, revealing the complexity and beauty of this distant world. Similarly, their flybys of Saturn unveiled the stunning intricacies of its iconic rings and diverse moon system. Each new discovery sparked excitement and intrigue, shedding light on phenomena that had previously been mere theories or assumptions. As Voyager 1 set its sights on interstellar space, Voyager 2 embarked on a journey filled with a few more thrilling stopovers. 
a corrective maneuver in the spring of 1981 directed the probe toward Uranus, which it successfully reached on January 24, 1986. At this point in its mission, Voyager 2 had already surpassed its originally predicted lifespan by a remarkable factor of two. Yet, undeterred by any earthly expectations, the spacecraft not only conducted a close examination of Uranus, but also made an exciting discovery, 10 previously unknown moons orbiting the distant ice giant. Following its rendezvous with Uranus, Voyager 2 was set to continue on to Neptune. This was anticipated to be the concluding chapter of its research mission, as there were no plans for the probe to fly by any other destinations afterward. Consequently, the more than 9,000 photographs taken by Voyager 2 of Neptune were initially viewed as a pictorial farewell. However, the probe had more surprises in store. In addition to capturing stunning images of the outermost planet in our solar system, Voyager 2 added nine previously uncharted satellites to our star maps. Among these moons was Triton, the largest of Neptune's companions, which was already known to astronomers at that time. Voyager 2 conducted a detailed examination of Triton and provided groundbreaking insights that changed our understanding of this enigmatic moon. Contrary to previous estimates, Voyager 2 revealed that Triton's diameter is not the 5,000 kilometers that scientists had long believed, but rather only 2,760 kilometers. Moreover, it discovered that Triton's brownish-white surface exhibited surprisingly few impact craters, suggesting a young geological age, and revealed the presence of numerous dormant geysers that sporadically erupted, releasing plumes of liquid nitrogen into the surrounding atmosphere. To appreciate the next milestone in the Voyager program, its arrival in interstellar space, we must rewind to the year 2012. This isn't surprising, considering that this distant realm, far beyond the sun's influence, is not just around the corner. Interstellar space is a vast and mysterious expanse filled with interstellar medium, which consists of various components, including dust and ionized atomic and molecular gases. Collectively, these materials form what is known as interstellar matter. The interstellar medium is further enriched by the galactic magnetic field and electromagnetic radiation, creating a complex environment that scientists are eager to understand. Voyager 1 crossed the boundary of our solar system in 2012, followed by its sister probe, Voyager 2, in November 2018. Much like their earlier missions near the planets, these spacecraft are now gathering unprecedented measurements in the vast expanse of interstellar space. However, since the two probes are traveling through different regions of this cosmic frontier, experts have been afforded a thrilling opportunity to study the interstellar medium from two distinct locations and make comparisons between the data they collect. A significant part of Voyager 2's mission is to verify the information gathered by Voyager 1, checking for both similarities and discrepancies. For instance, one key objective is to confirm findings regarding the density of particles in interstellar space. The plot thickens, however, when we consider the remarkable and at times perplexing variations in the measurements taken by the two probes. To fully grasp the discoveries made by Voyager, it's essential to understand the structure of the solar system's boundaries. Essentially, there exists a dynamic network of magnetic field lines encircling the Sun, which is invisible to the naked eye. These magnetic lines act as conduits along which electrically charged particles are propelled into space, forming what we know as the solar wind. As the solar wind spreads out across the solar system, it eventually encounters the interstellar medium. However, much like oil and water, the solar wind and interstellar medium do not blend seamlessly. As a result, the solar wind creates a protective bubble in the interstellar medium known as the heliosphere. Thanks to data collected by the Voyager probes, we now know that the heliosphere extends approximately 18 billion kilometers from the sun into space and at its outermost boundary called the heliopause, interstellar space finally begins. Before Voyager 1 made its groundbreaking entry into this threshold of the solar system, knowledge about this region was virtually non-existent. The data transmitted back to Earth from the probes left researchers in a state of astonishment and confusion, as many of their previous predictions were proven incorrect. For example, scientists discovered that the interstellar magnetic field is nearly three times stronger than had been previously believed. This significant revelation has profound implications. It indicates that interstellar particles exert about 10 times more pressure on the heliosphere than theoretical models had suggested. 
While the data collected by Voyager 1 was undeniably groundbreaking and offered unprecedented insights, it came with a significant drawback. The information was incomplete. This limitation stemmed from a malfunctioning instrument designed to measure plasma temperature, which had been defective since the 1980s. As a result, scientists were particularly eager to see what additional information Voyager 2 would provide as it made its approach to the heliopause, especially since its plasma measurement instruments were still operational. As Voyager 2 neared the heliopause, researchers observed some intriguing changes. The plasma surrounding the probe increased in density while simultaneously slowing down and heating up. Beyond the heliopause, the interstellar medium was found to reach temperatures approaching 30,000 degrees Celsius, which was notably hotter than scientists had previously predicted. Interestingly, despite these high temperatures in the interstellar medium, the plasma surrounding the Voyager probes remained surprisingly cool due to its extremely diffuse and thin consistency. Moreover, Voyager 2 made another fascinating discovery. Plasma was found to be crossing over from interstellar space into the heliopause and vice versa. When Voyager 1 crossed the heliopause, it encountered dense pockets of interstellar particles, while Voyager 2, on the other hand, confronted a peculiar stream of particles extending more than 150 million kilometers into the heliopause. This marked a stark contrast to the experiences of its sibling probe. Another fascinating detail in these findings was Voyager 1's encounter with an unusual region of space where, at about 1.3 billion kilometers before reaching the heliopause, the solar wind began to slow down significantly. This unexpected slowdown suggests that some complex forces are at work in this boundary region, where the sun's influence starts to taper off and mix with the vast, unknown realms of interstellar space. The slowing solar wind hints at unseen interactions, perhaps involving magnetic fields, particle flows, or other interstellar factors that we are only beginning to understand. When scientists compared the data from both Voyager probes, they noticed key differences that only added to the mystery of what lies at the very edge of our solar system. Each probe's journey has revealed unique features, suggesting that the outer reaches of our solar system are more varied and unpredictable than previously thought. The Voyager missions have, so far, only highlighted some of the mysteries that remain to be solved. One especially intriguing question that these missions have left us with is about the shape of the heliopause itself. Although we now know that this boundary is surprisingly wrinkled, an unexpected discovery in itself, its exact form and how it shifts or interacts with the interstellar medium are still unknown. Researchers are working to uncover how this boundary might change over time or respond to solar events, and whether the heliopause behaves differently in various directions from the sun. With these unanswered questions, the heliopause stands as a mysterious, constantly shifting frontier marking the outermost edge of the sun's influence and the start of true interstellar space. As scientists continue to analyze Voyager's data, they gain a deeper appreciation for the complex environment at the solar system's edge. These findings reveal just a glimpse of the intricate and often puzzling processes that govern the interactions between our solar system and the wider galaxy. The discoveries made by Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 remind us of how much there still is to learn about the universe just beyond our cosmic doorstep. After researchers at Princeton University noticed a surprising increase in solar wind pressure, about 50% more in just a few months, they used this data to better understand the shape of the heliosphere and its outer boundary, the heliopause. What they found was truly astonishing. The heliopause isn't smooth, but has massive folds that stretch across space for tens of astronomical units. Just to put that into perspective, an astronomical unit is the distance from Earth to the Sun, about 150 million kilometers. So these folds are several billion kilometers across, a scale that's almost unimaginable. What's even more fascinating is how these wrinkles or folds are formed. High-energy particles flow back in waves from the heliopause and crash into the solar plasma, creating these massive folds. This discovery changed our understanding of the heliosphere. Instead of a smooth and stable bubble, it's a dynamic area that is constantly shifting, expanding, and folding. It turns out the heliosphere billows and moves, reshaping itself over time. What's more, these cosmic folds aren't just standing still, they're actually moving outward, almost as if they're following the Voyager probes as they travel. As the solar plasma spreads and smooths out these folds, they continue to expand into interstellar space. 
This surprising movement and shifting boundary make the heliosphere much more lively and unpredictable than scientists ever thought. Remarkably, despite the advanced age of Voyager 1 and 2, these spacecraft will avoid being caught by the folds in their trajectory. They are simply traveling too fast to be ensnared and drawn back into the expanding heliosphere. However, this chase implies that the distance between the probes and the heliosphere is not increasing as quickly as one might initially expect. And that's it. Thanks for joining us in the Spaceverse. From the Voyager probe's incredible discoveries about the dynamic heliosphere to the mysteries of the heliopause, there's always something new to explore. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more cosmic adventures. Until next time, keep looking up.